in what seemed to be an unrelated case. A Harvard graduate, Laura Hoteling, was... Laura Hoteling had been stabbed to death in her bedroom while asleep. I ate lots of all soup. Her killer left behind few clues. He had done an unusually thorough job cleaning up the crime scene. I have a dentist appointment at 9.30. Normally, he would have found a blood splatter elsewhere in the room or some indications of a fight or... My mom is a badass bitch. <laughs> um, my mom was diagnosed with ALS in October of 2016. My grandpa had ALS, and my mom's in like 5% of people that have a genetic form of it. Usually it's not like that. Um, it's so it's familial ALS. It's like it runs in my family. Um, most people get like sporadic ALS, which is like, you just get it. Um, but yeah, my mom's had it for three, almost four years, almost four years. And yeah, she's still good. It sucks. It's like a really bad thing, but we try to make it, like, as positive as we can. in the moment. I mean, your voices on top of your head, Samantha, so you match. Okay. Perfect. Talk to you and make you understand. All you have to do is close your eyes and reach out. No, no, your, no. And just reach out <laughs> your hand. I messed just, up. Do you, hear, do you hear it? Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. For Christmas, I came up with the idea to have my sister help me do a cover of this song that like my parents love called More Than Words by this band Extreme. And honestly, it's like a really cheesy like music video of like these two men. It's in like black and white. It's like a Fabio love like sort of video but the song is so nice and the words are really nice it's it basically talks about like saying I love you like doesn't that isn't all to love like it's other things too and I think that the song can also like relate to my parents relationship because my mom like can't talk anymore so it's things that she can like do still to show that like she loves all of us. Yeah. It just made me emotional. <laughs> yeah. I told the witch doctor that it was I was in love with you. Bum, 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 bum. I told the witch doctor. He said it wasn't true. Bum, 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 bum. Kevin? Well, my mom got diagnosed, though. I think it was very hard for everyone because our, like, Normal wasn't normal anymore. It is the springtime. So, my dad stepped up big. Um, and I love my dad a lot. He, um, 
I have a sister and like she's now 18 but like she was in high school when my mom got diagnosed so he was like constantly making sure that she was okay and like I was away at school in my freshman year and he was making sure that I was okay and we also have like I have a half brother my dad has a son and he's making sure that he's okay my dad's just constantly caring about everyone and I think in the beginning it was like hard for him to make sure that he was okay Chicken, you please. Touch all Hello. The seeds with your fingers. Really? Yeah. Jimmy use Italian kitchen. I'm not eating it. Jimmy use Italian Jimmy. kitchen. Whoa! Look that at that. That's Italian. That's oh. Italian, man. It's not. How do you want hot than Italian? Hot. Hot stuff. Can't walk it with you. <laughs> I'm gonna go and play some more Jimi Hendrix. Wow, 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 wow. But you know, we all we all have learned to do that to make sure that we're okay ourselves and we're caring about the people around us. But no, my dad does a lot. My dad is my mom's health care proxy, which means like he has like full control of like, you know, what's like said and done. Um, we have, like, nurses at the house. Um, my dad is, like, trained in everything when it comes to my mom's care. Um, and so am I. Like, if a nurse isn't to show up for a shift, it's usually me and my dad, like, doing stuff for my mom. Um, and it's, it's hard, like I said, but we kind of just do it because, like, that's my mom and, like, that's his wife and, like, that's what we do. So my mom can't vocally like speak. She speaks with like a computer. She types out words and stuff. She's so funny and unfiltered. And that's always how she's been. I need help. I need help. With what? No, I don't think so. I don't know. Are you wet? Are you wet? What'd she say? But I need help. I don't know what's I need help. And now she's just enjoying this, but she keeps saying yeah. the same thing. I don't think she needs anything. Is there anything on this that says change my, wait, go back. Change my briefs. No, I'll change my briefs. I'm gonna hit this. Here you go. Pleased to meet you. That's for you. Mm -hmm. Pleased to meet you. 
my mom's name is Eileen. And with all of her nicknames, one of her other nickname is I. So my mom has eyes tattooed like on the back of her neck and on her like calf on her leg. So eyes have just been like a really like important thing. I also love drawing and I draw eyes like constantly on my like hands and stuff. So I thought getting tattoos, like a tattoo of two eyes would be really cool. like household so my mom was like a metalhead <laughs> so weird to say I guess because people don't expect that from like a mom but my mom listens to a lot of like um, hair metal music like um, Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, like Poison and like shit like that and my dad has been in bands throughout my whole entire life and my dad is like a crazy guitar player who can play like jazz and blues and like classic rock and like everything and like music has always just been a part of like my family. Then 